what is up guys back at it again with another video uh, today I'm getting ready to go to a car show tomorrow um, my car is not going to be inside the car show but it's going to be in the outdoor uh, section so still gonna get it looking nice and pretty so um but also this video is mostly to teach Henry how to wash his car because he's always asking me what products should I use what do you do to your car so I'm gonna show him and show you guys how I wash my car and we'll go through the steps together here he comes now All right, we're all set up on the table. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through all the products that I use and just really quick. And then I'll explain them more when I'm actually using them. So first off, we got a um, pressure cleaner, just a gas pressure cleaner. I would prefer electric, but the electric one broke. So I'm using this gas one. Um, that's just my preference. I prefer electric over um, gas just cause it, it's a hassle to have the thing on the whole time and it's annoying, I don't know. That might just be me. Um, so yeah, pressure cleaner, um, standard just attachment, the gun attachment. Um, never use this, never use this. Always use yellow, or some even come with a soap nozzle, but I have a, a foam gun, so I, I use that to actually wash. Yeah, I'm gonna go over that right now. Okay, so I was using this, and I feel like it's like crapping out on me. I don't know if I just don't know how to use it or what, but it's just not like supplying the right amount of foam that I want. So I ended up buying this with a shorter attachment for the actual pressure cleaner. So I have to attach that. Um, haven't used it yet. So I'm going to see today if it does good, if it does good, I'll keep it. And I don't know what I'll do with this one. I'll see if I can like get a refund or something. I don't know, but maybe it's just me. I probably just don't know what I'm doing. So what's next? Let's so yeah, these are from chemical guys. I believe they're, uh, like tire, um, shine applicators. Um, we just got some microfiber towels, some detail towels, some more detail towels. This is an Atom Polishes. Um, it's like a big, it's not a mitt. It's more of just like, um, I don't know, like a pad. It's like a wash pad. Haven't used it yet because I prefer a mitt because I actually prefer to have my hand inside of it so that I can actually just like move it around a lot easier without having it slip and fall on the ground. So I haven't used it yet, but I bought it to see what it was like. Um, maybe I'll use it today. I don't know. And then I have a... I don't know how, I don't even know how to pronounce the company's name, Griots or Grigots, I don't know, something like that. But it's a big drying towel, it's huge, it's like, it's like the biggest towel I have easily. And it has like this thick weave that just sucks in water. Um, so yeah, mint, you can buy these anywhere, this is like five bucks on Amazon. I also have one I bought at like AutoZone a while ago and then at Adams Polishes one. Um, this is a little bit different from the other ones. It doesn't have like the thick little um, fingers that like catch dirt. It has like more thin ones. So it just it just depends on your preference. If you don't really feel like the thin ones will catch everything or they'll keep dirt like stuck in it, then just use one of these. Um, to be honest, I have no like personal preference. So I just use whatever's clean at the time. Um, so what's next? I have an Adams Polishes glass towel. That's to use with the glass cleaner. This stuff is the best. Don't buy any other glass cleaner. Um, let's see. I have G6 Hyper Coat. This is to applicate on uh, like trimming, tires, anything like black that's plastic on your car that you feel like will fade. So I put it on side skirts, my lip, um, the trim, the tires for sure, and sometimes even like the fog light housing because that's also plastic. Uh, what else? This is VO7. Uh, it's like high gloss sealant and you use it when you dry your car. So you spray like a gracious amount on it as you're drying your car when it's wet and it like works the sealant in really nice and also dries your car at the same time and leaves it with like a nice shine. And after I always like to use some detail spray just to finish the job. Any spots I might have missed with like a little bit of dirt or a water spot or something. I just like to go over the car one last time with some Atmos Polishes detail spray. Um... I use a different one. I have the holiday edition. I'm like halfway through it already, but I have like two more bottles of just the normal pink detail spray. So um, when that runs out, I'll just start using the other two. Uh, I have these wheel woolies. These are to clean your wheels. Um, you dip them in the bucket 
and you just clean your wheels as you would normally. It's a lot easier than fitting a mitt in there or jamming your finger in between one of your spokes or something. So you have a tiny one for lug nuts, um, a medium sized one if you have like really like a lot of spokes wheel of, of wheels like some BBS LMs or RSs and you need to fit like um, one into it. But like for me, I use the big one because I just have work VSSs and it's it's a pretty big gap in between the spokes that I can fit this in and clean it all, all in one shot. Um, this is another drying towel. It's a XL absorber. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but probably use it on Henry's car just because it, it dries the car a lot better. Um, blue, you can't really notice dirt as much or water spots. Black is like the worst when it comes to that stuff. But um, we'll see. Uh, this is, I think this is from Meguiar's. It's like some cleaning, t cleaning, yeah, like wet wipes for the inside, for the interior. Um, that's just what I use for now. I'll probably try some, maybe even some of the G6 Hyper Coat, like put a little bit on an applicator pad and put it in the car. I haven't tried that yet. Um, oh, and last but certainly not least, actually it's what we use first, is Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam for the car. Um, I actually just purchased it. I was using Adams Polishes, uh, what's it called, uh, car shampoo, and it wasn't giving me the foam that I wanted, which obviously, because it's not foam soap, but um, it, it was really, really good soap. I loved it, but I ran out of it, so I just decided to change it up a little bit and see what, uh, what this does. I've heard really good reviews about this, so I'm going to go ahead and try it on Henry's and Mai's car today. Mai's, that's not a word. <laughs> The only thing I'm missing is I like to use a table when I wash my car just because I have all my stuff right there and it's easily accessible and I don't have to put it on the ground or worry about it getting dirt on it or what have you. So I just keep it there. Um, any table would work. You could even use a chair if you don't have as much stuff or or if you have a garage with a workbench and that's way better than what I have. So no garage boys. We got a shed. Can't fit no car in there. Maybe. Fit, got a, a, barn. fit a golf cart in there. Um, so yeah, I also use two buckets. I know everyone says use two bucket method, but I feel like it does work. Well, I feel like it does and doesn't work. Reason being that if you have a grid guard in one bucket, then why would you use another bucket? But you know what? Just, just to be safe, use two. I only have one caddy. I have to buy another one. But yeah, this is an Atmos Polishes. I got like the combo, came with the grit guard and the gamma seal and all that good stuff. Um, and then this is just like a $3 Home Depot bucket. This is honestly all you need. This was, The whole bucket combo, I think it was like 40 bucks for this. Um, the caddy is like 40 bucks alone, so I don't think I'm lying. I don't know if I got a deal on it, but so yeah. Yeah, I believe that was probably, yeah, that was more expensive, I'm lying. So this is pretty much all you need. If you just get the black grit, grit guard in a Home Depot, red and black grit guard in a Home Depot bucket, I think you're good. If you can't afford two buckets, or if you don't have two buckets and you don't feel like leaving your house, then just use one. All right, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna run through the steps with Henry so that he can actually understand how to wash his car like I do. I'm, I'm, I'm not a professional detailer. I probably suck when it comes to washing cars. Some detailers will probably watch this video and cringe. But you know what? This is how I do it. This is how I feel like I get my best results. Um, and I don't know. I love washing my car. I feel like it's like low-key therapeutic. So, and there's always, you always get a good feeling after you wash your car and you have a nice clean car to drive. So, yeah, we're going to get started. Um, Henry has to leave in like two hours, but I really don't think it's going to take two hours. I feel like it's going to take at most an hour. Um... I take a lot longer on my car just because I'm really like picky, but um, I can get a lot of a lot of spots on this car done uh, pretty fast uh, while teaching Henry. So yeah, that being said, we're gonna get started now. So I was just telling Henry something really important that you guys should know. Um, you don't have to use a pressure cleaner. That's just what we use. Um, that's what I prefer to use. You you can easily get the exact same results out of just a normal everyday garden hose and maybe a foam cannon attached to a garden hose. But even if you don't have that and you just have a bucket, some soap and water, I guarantee you if you do it right, you can get the same results. Look, the car's all wet with water now, so now we're gonna foam it up, let it um, drip down a little bit, let it get some of the soap off and dirt, and then we'll um, rinse it off again, rinse all the foam off, and then 
What I do is I either foam it up again. It's depending on how much time I have. Today, Henry doesn't have that much time. So I think what we're gonna do is just foam it up, rinse it off, foam it up again, and rub the foam in, rub the soap in. You'll also fill the bucket with soap and fill the other bucket with just plain water. So that way you have a rinse bucket and a soap bucket. And both of them have grit guards in it. So you can just rub the mitt all nice and good and get all the dirt off. So yeah, before the water starts to dry in the car because it's kind of hot outside right now, we're gonna get started and film the car up. Okay, something that I forgot to mention is you should probably do your wheel wheels first and yeah, she's pretty. So yeah, pretty. strike the it's, they're, they're, it's a synonym. Um, you should wash your wheels first before you wash your car. The fact being that when you wash your car and then wash your wheels, if you don't dry your car first, it would be pointless because you have to wash your wheels. Um, your water dries and you get water spots, dirt builds up, etc. So just wash your wheels first, that way it's out of the way. And then whatever dirt gets on the car or water or whatever, or you could just wash it off. Um, I mean on your wheels, whatever gets on your wheels, you could just wash it off. So we're gonna wash the wheels first, then soap, then foam soap the car, and then we'll go through the rest of the detailing process. So catch you when we're done. All right, so let's wash your wheels. Get a get a mitt at first. Get get all most of the dirt off, and then detail it with the the wheel woolies. Um, yeah, that's that's good. Just that's just like to applicate it onto the car, so you don't have to like foam soap it or anything. I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking to everyone. All right, so you have, he has like medium spokes and big gap spokes. So I'm not gonna use the tiny one just yet. So for right now, yeah, you could just leave that in there. Here, take this big one. Dip it in there. Dip it in that. And then just like work it in between. So look, I'm gonna take the medium one. He's gonna take the big one. Get it all worked in with soap and stuff and water. And then just wash the wheel just get all the dirt and brake residue and all that good stuff off okay so we got one wheel done so now just yeah just get the majority of the of the soap on and then you really work it in with the wheel woolies so you're good the point of that is to not get a lot of dirt on that just work it in and then um really get it clean with the wheel woolies all right let's see how these came out looks better already So on a sunny day like today, um, well not really, but it might be. So on a sunny day after you rinse your wheels off, just get a little bit more water on the car so that it stays wet and you don't get water spots. Quick tip. Uh, the wheels look pretty good. Um, when we go to dry the car, we'll also dry the wheels. Um, the wheels you can kind of just let air dry. Um, they're not really paint, they're more like anodized or powder coated or what have you. So. It's a different little process, but once once they're dry, um, you can detail them with some spray and put the G6 Hyper Coat on. Um, you might even be able to do that when it's wet. I think you can. Yeah, I would just use it when it's dry. Um, so after your wheels are dry, after you dry your car, this is another reason why you do your wheels first, so that they can dry, you do your car, and you can do everything else together. So I'm gonna clean the other side and then we'll actually get started on the car. All right, so they're being loud over there. So basically what I do for the foam gun is I put about almost five uh, fluid ounces of soap and then I just fill the rest up with water. Uh, not pressurized water or anything, just like don't turn the pressure washer on if you're using a pressure washer and just fill it up as if it was an everyday garden hose. So you fill it up and it should look like something like that. 
and then you just turn it on and you foam it up so I'm gonna do a little time lapse of the foam real quick Pause the time time lapse real quick. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see all the black stuff. That's why you use a grit guard. Um, all the black stuff that you see dripping out of there, all the little black dots. That's why you use a grit guard. All that would have gotten collected onto your wash mitt, and you would have scratched your paint. So right, intense. Back, back to the time lapse. Car has been rinsed, wheels are done, foam actually worked in the soap. Now it's rinsed, and now we're gonna get moving into the actual detailing part of the car. So. Did yours too already? Fuck no. Oh. No, I just did my wheels real quick. I probably have to go over them again because they're kind of dirty. Oh, the you? How fast were you? Okay, doing? so now. Dry the car, and then we'll seal the car. Seek, seek what? We'll detail it. You'll see. There you go. Now, the sealant that we're going to be using is this V07 Chemical Guys sealant. Um, what it does is it kind of protects the car from like bird dropping, stuff like that. Like if you get something like that on your car, it can easily wipe off and it won't stick to the paint. Um, it will beat up some of the water so when it rains it'll just kind of fall off when it dries. Um, but it's not going to be anything like drastic. But it's a good way to... Wipe the paint down, it gives you a high gloss finish on this nice, what, what is the name of your blue, do you know? Rally Blue. Rally Blue, that's what it's called, I knew it. So yeah, it'll give a nice high gloss finish to the amazing Subaru's Rally Blue. So we'll do that, and then we will detail the wheels, um, clean the windows, clean the inside a little bit, it's not really that dirty. Both of us usually keep our cars pretty clean on the inside. Henry's gonna dry the car. Um, I don't know if I'll get started on my car just yet. I'll probably just wait till he's finished. That way I can talk him through everything. I did my wheels, kinda, really quick. It was with the wheel woolies and stuff. Uh, I might go over them again, I don't know. But something else I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to clean the exhaust because it's really, really black. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. So we'll check in when we are putting the sealant on. Hopefully it does not rain. All right, so Henry's done drying his car. So now we're gonna use the VO7 um, sealant. And we're gonna use the one of the Griot's uh, detail towels. And we're gonna seal the car basically. Detail it, um, I guess you would call it that, but it's really a sealant that gets put on the car and blocks it from rain, bird droppings, etc., dirt, whatever you're, wherever you drive, I don't know. If you live on a dirt road, it'll probably help you with that. So, like us, we kind of live on a dirt road, not even gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna seal the car. I did this little part right here, get up real close. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but that's like really gritty paint, but then I did this spot, and you can't hear it at all. Smooth as a baby's butt. 
but to do the entire car would probably take me like four hours, not even gonna lie, because I'm an amateur. But, so for right now, we're just gonna seal the car, detail it, etc., and make it look good, because he has to go really soon. So just spray like a good amount. And then basically what we wanna do is just work it into the paint. Use like medium pressure, kind of the weight of your body, and just work it in. Spray as you go, and just work it in. Be sure to get the whole car. Any part of the car that's painted, be sure to touch it with this. And yeah, so you can give it a try if you want to. The reason we do this before we do the glass is that reason exactly. Because when you spray the little parts like this, it's going to get the glass dirty. So you just wipe the glass down after. And what does that do? This is a detailing sealant, so you use it, you can use it to dry the car or right after you dry the car, so that there's still some water droplets on it. It needs water? It doesn't need water, but it's okay to use it without it. Mm. It's just a sealant. You can even spray it on the actual glass, and then spray glass cleaner on after to kind of seal it. this side Henry and then you can do the rest All right. as fast as you want so for right now I sprayed about from the front half of the front fender all the way back to the rear quarter panel so you're just gonna kind of like work it in to wherever you sprayed it try not to touch any spots that you didn't spray or near where you didn't spray so that it's not dry and you're not just working in dust or dirt or anything into your paint it's always good to have a lubricant to actually work it into the paint. And you can see it, um, a good amount to use is the amount that I used because it won't leave any streaks and it just dries with air, it just air dries. So I didn't touch the side skirt because I didn't spray anything on it yet. It's okay to even do this a few times if you really want to. But once is honestly good enough if you're going to be going to drive your car immediately. But if you're getting your car ready for a show or something, you might want to do it a few more times just to ensure that it's the entire car got covered. So now I'm going to do the bottom of the door real quick. Science here. Good idea when you're getting really close to the ground is fold your towel up in either half or a quarter. That way, you're guaranteed that it will not touch the ground. Because if this touches the ground and collects a rock, you run the risk of pulling it up into the paint and scratching the complete piss out of the paint. You just kind of work it in and kind of mop it out. And it seals the car. It seals the car enough until the next wash. So here, again, um, well not again, I didn't mention this. Um, now that this is kind of wet with the detail spray, you don't, you won't have to spray as much. So don't spray as much for the rest of the car. Just spray a good amount. Just not as much as I did at first. I did that to mostly get this wet with the sealant. <clears throat> but now that it's wet, you can kind of just go over the rest of the car. Using a little bit, for example, I'll do the hood real quick. Hood is a really big part of the car, so you're good with that. You should be good with that. Just kind of work it in, back and forth, never in a circle. Get that little spot right there with your knee. That's how you call it, cause swirl marks. So you can see as I wipe, it disappears disappears works kind of like Windex would on glass how when you spray it and then buff it out it disappears in and gives it a nice high gloss finish and that looks all nice and clean you can even see now that like I don't know if you can see it I didn't spray any and I'm still just like pushing it around because the it's actually still wet which is good you want it to stay wet so here. So how would you do this front part right here? Well, with a lot of edges and everything. Same as you would any other place. Um, I started from about here, so you just wanna 
Just like one good spritz on every little part you haven't covered. How many sprays do you think you did? It's kind of a little bit more than I would have liked to do, but you could, it'll dry. No, it smells like orange. Yeah, it's citrus. It's another good reason why. It's also really good for headlights, I found. At least spraying like a wax and dry or like a sealant or anything like that is pretty good for the headlights. It keeps the nice, I don't even know what you would call it, like chameleon type of finish when you look at it in the sunlight. So yeah, just kind of go over it. Again, kind of make it smaller so that when you're getting close to the ground, it won't pick up any dirt or dust or rocks or anything like that that could potentially scratch the piss out of your paint. All right, so the tire. So the tire is argue the wheel and the tire is arguably the dirtiest part of the entire car. So what you're gonna wanna do is, I have a Chemical Guys tire applicator here. Um, basically what you wanna do is get yourself some like tire cleaner or, or high gloss like black sealant and just like spray it either on here or on the actual tire. Um, so considering that these are black wheels, I think I'm just gonna spray it on the actual tire, spray a really good amount because these tires are kinda turning like brown and really work it in and then probably do it again and just wipe it down with a microfiber towel after um, I do the first coat with this. So. so just spray like a really gracious amount and just really, really work it into the wheel. So you get a nice, not like wet finish, but a nice like satin finish. It'll look really good with this car. After I do this and the, comp the whole tire is dry, then what I'll do is detail the wheel with a little bit of Adams polishes so that it actually looks really good. You can see how dirty the tire was. Kind of, you can kind of use this edge right here to kind of work right in between the bead where the, the actual wheel meets the tire. You see how dirty it was. Wash this off real quick and maybe put a little bit more on with this and then put it on and buff it out with a microfiber towel. Just try to make sure that um, as much water is out of this as possible right after you rinse it. Oh wow. Henry's gonna he's cleaning the inside of his gas cap right now because when was the last time he did that? <laughs> yeah, it, those things get really dirty, believe it or not. What I'll do now is I'll spray a little bit more on the tire. Not as much as I did before. Just like enough to go around the whole wheel and then just kind of work it in again. Can I start putting the inside? Yeah, just get a wipe. Um, so for the inside, really quick. Um, it's nothing crazy for right now. I haven't really gotten anything really special for the inside. I'm waiting on Eloy to get some uh, IGL products in so that I can actually buy them from him rather than buying online so that I give him some business. So I'm gonna buy some Dash products from him. Um, it's what he used on my car when he actually sealed my car. So I'm waiting on him. But for right now, I just have some uh, Henry's cleaning the door gems. Um, for the door gems, you can just use any microfiber towel that you might have used on your car as long as it's just wet or with some like um, detail spray or sealant or whatever, whatever. Um, just to kind of like work it in a little bit, get some dust, get some dirt out. Um, 
because there's nothing worse than opening the door and you got a dirty door jam on a clean car. So, so for the inside, like I was saying, it's just going to be like a wipe, like an everyday wipe, um, car cleaner wipe that you can get at Walmart, AutoZone, Pet Boys, whatever, whatever you could uh, live close to. Um, it's just me and my girlfriend both have used it on our cars for a long time and it works good. It cleans the car It makes it all germ free and stuff. So that's what we use for right now. So he's going to go get that. I keep it in a little Ziploc because the, the box broke. So just wipe it down and let it dry. That's all you, that's all you really got to do. Nothing crazy. So I'm going to get back to this real quick. Um, it's already kind of worked in as much as I can. Get the bead again. Get it all nice and clean. And now what we'll do is get a microfiber towel and go over it. So yeah, just get an everyday normal microfiber towel and just kind of like buff it out. And see, it gives like a nice clean finish to the tire. I should have done them before and after, but it looks all nice, Even this not wet. Yeah, that's true. Good point. So hopefully you guys can tell that's what the clean one looks like. And this is what the dirty one looks like. Like brown and a nice clean satin black. You could put as many coats of this as you want to get a brighter and brighter finish, but um, for right now, Henry has to leave um, momentarily. So as long as the car looks clean, that's mo that's mainly what we're going for here is for the car to look clean and, and good. Um, nothing show ready because he's gonna drive his car right now. So I'm not gonna put hours and hours of work into it because he's literally gonna go drive it right now. So. I'm gonna get started on the other wheels so he can leave. He already cleaned the inside, and I think that kind of about wraps it up for like a quick car wash video. I don't know how long this took. Maybe like if we didn't talk or wasn't filming or what have you, if he just knew how to do it and did it, it'd probably only take like 30 minutes to be honest. So, car's looking pretty freaking mint if you ask me. Mint as heck. Tires are done, car sealed, detailed, pretty fast, kinda. Uh, we didn't get oh, I to. You about my car. I kind of... No, we didn't. We didn't get to do a complete full detail um, on the car because he has to go right now. But um, looks way better than it did before. It is a lot cleaner. Um, now I'm just gonna the same stuff I used to get the tires. That satin black you can also use on trimming and other black um, surfaces on your car. So this is some um, dry carbon wrap that he had his duck bill wrapped in. So I'm just gonna kind of work a little bit in because it has some like water spots and leftover dirt that we didn't get um, yeah. quite off the car. So I'm just gonna work it in real quick. So you just wanna kind of like, wrap is kind of tricky in my opinion to get clean because you can't really treat it like paint because it is wrap. So you gotta kind of be careful with what you do to it, but it looks a lot better now with the, looks a lot cleaner. I'll just kind of wipe this part down too. This is also wrapped in a dry carbon wrap. So yeah. Wipe down the license plate a little bit, the license plate cover. Looks good. So yeah, um, we're done. Um, I'm gonna wash my car now. Um, it's basically the same process. I just will take a little bit longer for my wheels because they are a three piece and I want to treat them as such. Um, but stock wheels are really easy to clean. You don't have to, there's no, there, there's no lip you have to clean. It's just the actual face of the wheel and the tire and that's it. But when you have a three piece wheel with a stretched tire, it's kind of tricky. And when your car's lowered, it's tricky to clean the tires because you have to actually, um, like work it in a little bit more with um, how you actually rub it because you have to actually push it in underneath the fender and stuff like that but 
So I'm gonna wash my car right now and Henry's gonna get out of here, so. Tomorrow I'm also going to a car show. I think I'm gonna film there because I haven't been to a car show since I've started this vlog and actually filmed it. So I think I'm gonna actually film it. Um, I think it's called Atlantic Street Movement. I think that's what it's called. It's in Boynton Beach. Um, it's at the mall or something. So my car is not in the show, it'll be outside, but um, it'll still be in the show. It'll just be a different section. So I guess I'll catch you guys there. I've been down bad, I've been broke before. Yeah, yeah. dog, I couldn't even quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This song right here, I sat and wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know it's from the soul. I've been down bad, I've been broke before. Yeah. This song right here, I said it wrong